Aloha travelers, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the vibrant heart of Hawaii, Honolulu. This ain't about umbrella drinks and tiki torches, though you'll find those too if that's your thing. We're going deeper, beyond the postcard cliches, to uncover the soul of this island city. Whether you're a beach bum, a history buff, or a foodie on the hunt for the best poke bowl, Honolulu has something special for everyone. Stick around as we count down the top 10 things you absolutely can't miss on your visit to this tropical paradise. Forget everything you think you know about Waikiki. Sure, it's a tourist mecca, a sea of sunbathers and surf shops, but there's so much more to it than just the crowds and commercialism. Beneath that glossy veneer, there's a raw energy, a pulse that beats to the rhythm of the waves. The ocean here is alive, constantly moving, constantly inviting. This is where surfing was born, where Duke Kahanamoku, the father of modern surfing, honed his skills. His legacy lives on in every wave that crashes onto the shore. Rent a board, paddle out, and feel the rush of the Pacific as you try to catch a wave. The thrill of standing up on your board for the first time is indescribable. Even if you wipe out, even if you swallow a mouthful of salt water, you'll understand why this place is legendary. It's all part of the experience, the highs and the lows. And hey, after your surf session, grab a shaved ice, find a shady spot under a palm tree, and watch the sunset paint the sky in hues of orange and pink. The flavors of the shaved ice are as vibrant as the colors in the sky. It's the kind of moment that stays with you long after you've left. The memories of Waikiki, the waves, the sunsets, and the simple joys will linger in your heart, calling you back to this paradise. This isn't just a tourist stop, folks. This is hallowed ground. A place where time stopped on a December morning, a place forever scarred by the wounds of war. Walk the decks of the USS Arizona Memorial, see the oil still weeping from its sunken hull and feel the weight of history settle upon you. Listen to the stories of the survivors, the heroes who lived to tell the tale. It's a sobering experience, a stark reminder of the human cost of conflict. But it's also a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the ability to rebuild and remember. Don't come here for souvenirs or photo ops. Come to pay your respects, to learn, and to never forget. They say the view from the top of Diamond Head is worth the climb, and let me tell you, they ain't lying. This extinct volcanic crater, a jagged tooth rising from the heart of Honolulu, offers a panorama that'll knock your flip-flops off. It's a steep, sweaty hike, but trust me, it's worth every drop of sweat. As you ascend the winding trail, you'll be rewarded with glimpses of turquoise water, lush green valleys, and the sprawling cityscape below. And once you reach the summit, well, let's just say you'll understand why the ancient Hawaiians considered this place sacred. It's a view that'll stay with you long after your calves have stopped screaming. Chapter 4, Ala Moana Farmer's Market, a feast for the senses. Nestled in the heart of Honolulu, this market is a vibrant hub of activity, drawing both locals and tourists alike. Forget your fancy restaurants and Michelin stars. While they have their charm, they can't compete with the authenticity and freshness found here. For a real taste of Honolulu, head straight to the Ala Moana Farmer's Market. It's where the city's culinary soul truly shines. This ain't your grandma's farmer's market, folks. It's a sensory overload in the best possible way. This is a riot of color, a symphony of smells, a celebration of all things fresh and delicious. Every stall offers a new adventure for your senses. We're talking mountains of juicy mangoes, pineapples the size of your head, and exotic fruits you can't even pronounce. It's a tropical paradise. Sample local honey, sip on fresh coconut water, and load up on enough tropical fruit to give your taste buds a sugar rush. The flavors are as vibrant as the colors. And don't even get me started on the poke, it's a local favorite for a reason. Fresh ahi tuna, diced and tossed with seaweed, onions, and a touch of soy sauce. Each bite is a burst of the ocean's essence. It's the taste of the Pacific, and it's damn good. So if you find yourself in Honolulu, make sure to visit the Ala Moana Farmer's Market. Your senses will thank you. Chapter 5 Luau Where Culture Comes Alive Look, I get it, the whole luau thing can seem a bit cheesy, a bit touristy. You might think it's just another gimmick for visitors. But trust me on this one. There's so much more beneath the surface. A good luau is more than just a show, it's a window into the soul of Hawaii. It's a celebration of life, history, and tradition. It's about the music, the hypnotic beat of the drums, the graceful movements of the hula dancers. Each dance tells a story, 
Each beat connects you to the island's past. It's about the food, the smoky aroma of Kalua pig cooked underground, the delicate flavor of poi, the sweet and tangy taste of lomi salmon. These dishes are not just meals, they are a taste of Hawaiian heritage, but most of all it's about the spirit of aloha, the warmth, the generosity, the sense of community that permeates every aspect of Hawaiian culture. It's a feeling that welcomes you with open arms, so put on your best Hawaiian shirt, grab a Mai Tai, and let yourself get swept away by the magic of the luau. Feel the rhythm, taste the flavors, and embrace the aloha spirit. You might just learn a thing or two about yourself along the way. In the end, a luau is not just an event, it's an experience that stays with you, a memory that lingers long after the night is over. Chapter 6. Kalakaua Avenue Shop Till You Drop Let's be honest folks, sometimes a traveler's gotta shop. And when in Honolulu, Kalakaua Avenue is the place to do it. This bustling boulevard is a shopper's paradise. A dizzying mix of high-end boutiques, department stores, and souvenir shops. You can find everything here from designer handbags and diamond earrings to hand-carved tiki masks and ukulele keychains. But Kalakaua Avenue is more than just a shopping street. It's a microcosm of Honolulu itself a melting pot of cultures, a place where East meets West in a riot of color and sound. So grab your wallet, put on your walking shoes, and get ready to experience the retail therapy that is Kalakaua Avenue. Chapter 7, Hanauma Bay, Dive into Paradise. Imagine this, crystal clear water, vibrant coral reefs teeming with marine life, and you snorkeling amongst it all. That's Hanauma Bay, folks, a protected cove on the southeastern shore of Oahu, and it's about as close to an underwater Eden as you're gonna find. Grab your snorkel gear, slap on some reef-safe sunscreen, and dive in. Schools of colorful fish will dart around you, sea turtles will glide gracefully by, and if you're lucky, you might even spot an elusive monk seal. It's an experience that'll stay with you long after you've dried off and headed back to your hotel. Just remember to respect the reef, folks. This ain't just a pretty picture, it's a delicate ecosystem that needs our protection. Chapter 8, Bioduin Temple, Find Your Zen. Sometimes you just need to escape the hustle and bustle, find a little peace and quiet. And in the heart of Oahu, nestled in the lush valley of the temples, lies the Bioduin Temple, a serene oasis of tranquility. This replica of a 900-year-old Japanese Buddhist temple is a sight to behold. Wander through the meticulously manicured gardens, listen to the gentle sound of the wind chimes, and feel your worries melt away. Feed the colorful koi fish in the pond, light a stick of incense and take a moment to reflect. In a city that never sleeps, the Biodoin Temple is a sanctuary, a place to reconnect with your inner peace. Chapter 9. Magic Island, where the sun kisses the sea. Forget your fancy rooftop bars and overpriced cocktails. For the best sunset in Honolulu, head to Magic Island, a man-made peninsula with unobstructed views of the Pacific. Grab a picnic blanket, a bottle of wine and someone you love, and settle in for a show that'll take your breath away. As the sun dips below the horizon, the sky explodes in a kaleidoscope of colors, from fiery orange and crimson to soft pinks and purples. It's a moment of pure magic, a reminder of the simple beauty of the natural world. And as the stars begin to twinkle above, you'll understand why they call it Magic Island. Chapter 10 Hawaiian Feast, a Culinary Adventure No trip to Honolulu is complete without a proper Hawaiian feast. We're not talking about your tourist traps with overpriced Mai Tais and soggy fries. We're talking about the real deal, the kind of food that'll make your taste buds sing. Think Kalua Pig, slow-cooked underground until it's fall off the bone tender. Think Lao Lao, pork or fish steamed in Thai leaves for a unique earthy flavor. Think poi, the starchy staple of Hawaiian cuisine, an acquired taste that's worth acquiring. And don't forget the sides lomi salmon, hapia, coconut pudding, and of course rice, lots and lots of rice. So loosen your belt, grab your appetite, and get ready for a culinary adventure that'll leave you stuffed and satisfied. Outro mahalo for joining us on this adventure through Honolulu. We've explored the beaches, tasted the flavors, and felt the spirit of aloha. But this is just a taste, a glimpse into the heart of this incredible island city. There's so much more to discover, so many hidden gems waiting to be unearthed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel guides from around the world. Until next time, aloha.